Good morning, YouTube. Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. It's bright out there. It is Saturday, February 29th. It's leap year day today. So that's kind of fun. It doesn't happen too often. Let's see here. So today is Saturday morning. Oh, it's been a good morning so far. I just got done though driving an hour with my son, my son driving on the highway for an hour to take him up to a card shop here that he's gonna play some games with and then I'm gonna go out shopping while he's playing. So first things first, I'm gonna get out and go into the Bartels here and uh, kind of work off some of my nerves because if you've ever taught your kids how to drive, it's nerve wracking. So this morning I started off my day um, getting ungated for like five things, which was great. I posted it all over on Instagram. So if you want to know those brands and what I was doing was looking at the crazy coupon ladies deals of the week and then kind of seeing what, um, what brands were posted were ones that I could not sell and looking for replenishable type of ideas for store replens for grocery health beauty didn't didn't really find anything that was super amazing, but I did get ungated for five things. So that was good. Um, sold two things on Macari this week, which is great. I've just started with that platform. So that's been working for me. And I found out that our community center is having a garage sale April 25th. So I'm going to, um, I bought a label gun this morning. The one that Wade from Wade's Venture recommended for tagging items for garage sales and stuff. It, it was $15, $17 with tax and everything. So well worth it. I think I'm going to go through and I have boxes of stuff ready to go for a garage sale and I can work on that between now and April, get things tagged. I like tagging things for garage sales and rummage sales and things like that. Um, just cause I hate having to be asked, you know, what's the price of this a hundred times, especially if I have my family with me doing the garage sales and stuff, because a lot of times they don't know what I want to sell it for or what I paid for it. Um, and what my history with the item is and what I want to get out of that item. You know, obviously certain things I want to get back as much as I can, but if something gets returned from Amazon and it's slightly broken or ruined or whatnot, you know, that has to go into your pricing somehow. All right, so we're gonna go start with Bartels today and then I gotta figure out where I'm going. Uh, we drove past a cold sign not too long ago, so that might be an option. I've got returns. Ooh, let's start with that. So I've got three returns. I've got a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Burlington. With Burlington, it's all the Barco stuff that I'm not putting into my shipment. I'm just going to return it. Earlier this week, I got a letter from them asking me not to sell them, saying I'm not an authorized reseller. Um, and I want to become an authorized reseller, so I'm going to go ahead and comply, return the stuff there. It's not that huge of a deal. It was, you know, it was slightly upsetting, but it, don't let it ruin your week for sure. And then, let me see here. If I can find my problems, because we all have problems. And so I'd like to share with you some of the stuff from last weekend's shopping trip that were problematic. This one, I was so bummed. I went to go put this in, didn't have an expiration date. So I went to the website, Hawaiian Tropic website, and typed in like expiration date. And it was under the F, um, facts and questions, not facts and questions. Questions and answer, FAQ. Am I saying that right? Q&A. Yeah. And it said that it was good for three years out of after date of manufacture, you know, for sure, for sure, two years, and then something about when in doubt, throw it out. This uh, says it was manufactured in 2017. So that's probably why it's at Marshall's on Clarence. Now I did keep a bottle for myself because it smells so divine. I love, absolutely love the smell of that. So I've got three bottles of those to go back and then let's see if I can find my other one. This one I think I showed you, but I was so bummed. Crabtree and Evelyn, I can't sell it and it's not open for applications right now. Sometimes um, there's lockdown on certain brands or whatnot and they're just not accepting applications. You have to have to deal. So uh, I figured that out before I took all the tags off, which is always good. Got this for $6.99 and I got three four of them. So seven, 14, 21, $28 worth of inventory needs to go back. The tanning lotion was $6 times three, you know, so all these little things add up. I've got about a hundred dollars worth of scrubs and we'll say, you know, $40 worth of cosmetic -y stuff that all need to go back. 
as soon as I can. So I've grouped in all of that into my car here. What else did I do? I need to go and pick up my sales over at the storage unit. But today's riding along is going to start off at Bartels. We'll see what we can find there. Bartels is our local grocery store. Absolutely love it. And each one is completely different, run by the managers. It's good to know how a store does things um, and you know, get comfortable with it. Some of them are national, you know, national chains or big chains, and they do very precise sales or um, clearance type of schedules. Bartels is up to the store manager. So each one in our area, I think there's about six up in Washington, um, beats to their own tune. So it's always fun to go to a different one, see what they're doing. Then, yeah, we'll see where we're going after that. I don't want to make any promises yet. Let's get started. Ran into this and it's Burt's Bees, 79 cents. I am allowed to sell Burt's Bees. When I scanned the barcode though, only one item showed up, one ASIN, and it was going for $39. There was none available. The rank was weird. It didn't look quite quite the right thing. So I did a keyword search and it did come up. However, it came up with the package to it, you know, like the paper part to it. So it wasn't quite a line up there. So then I looked over on eBay to see if it was any good. And if you just look at the for sales, there's a lot of them for sale. The prices look great. You go to this sold part and it was not so great. Water bottles are some of my favorite. I scanned the Stanley and Aladdin. Nothing came up really good. The Stanley was kind of the best, but it was still spend $11 to make five. So not enough for me. Kitchen utensils can be great. I'm looking for the yellow tags as I go up and down the aisles. This one was not enough. It'd be a little profit, a couple dollars, but this one I make 80% back. I spend 574, I make back about five bucks and there's none for sale. I went and looked at the keep -a -graph, So this one is going in my cart. I was not familiar with this brand, so I went ahead and did some scanning just for research purposes. It sells well, but not at these prices. There's some fun size candies on sale here, but the margins are not good enough. These football candy corns I've sold before, but the expiration date's coming up here soon. I didn't scan them, I just looked at the expiration date, and so those were a no. Here's another little section. I'm going to scan the water bottles. Maybe the straws, but that doesn't look very great. But I wanted to point out these guys. These are the cleaning rags that I use to clean everything. I love them. They've got a great um, grip on one side, a little bit smoother on the others. Who's it by? Okay, she's not important, but that's the brand that I've bought. And I bought them, gosh, years ago, and they've been wonderful. This is a better price range, regularly $3.49, save $2.50, they're 99 cents. They're pumpkin spice brownies, which I don't know if that sounds really great, but I went ahead and tried scanning the barcode. No go. I did check the expiration date. It's, it's well into next year. And uh, so then I did an image search and it popped right up. I would get back 53 cents for every dollar I spent. So 50% return. The rank was about 500,000 in grocery. So based on the rank and the ROI, not going to get that one. But that's kind of the item I'm looking for. Um, let's see here, what else is here? Shortbread cookies, no, I'm not going to scan that. Shortbread cookies are pretty much a dime a dozen. Same with these things. These would be kind of a pain in the butt to um, package up. But sugar plum party napkins, I'm not familiar with that, so I'll scan that one. The napkins were a no-go, so I came over to the next section here. We've got some spin dusters. We've got some no, no real good brand name flip-flops, but they're pretty cute. I like flamingos. I'm not going to scan them though. They're 275 though. You can't beat that for a pair of shoes. Uh, these guys, I went ahead and scanned them and I am gated. Tried to get ungated. No go. Scanned a few toys, but nothing had good margins or ranks. I came down here. I scanned some honest diapers. Not enough margins there or it didn't come up. And then silly chews came up. But the rank is 300,000 in baby. Some of these don't have hardly any competition. They're going, this one right here is going for about $13 or was going for $13. And it's sold a couple of months. Um, but I just don't, I don't know too much about it. And I have a feeling that this might be an IP issue because of the, I'm not familiar with the brand and it seems like a pretty um, new brand. So that's interesting. 
Interesting, interesting. I don't know if I'll regret passing up on that or not. Ooh, and I just got uh, some vans just sold on eBay, so that's fun. This one is interesting. A couple years ago, I bought a ton of them at a small store, and they sold phenomenally. I mean, they were great. And then I went back and I asked for more. I tried to get more. I looked at wholesale options uh, and just couldn't find it. But today I run across it, of course. They're $4. They're no longer on Amazon or the listing is no longer there. And the only listing for this UPC is a pack of 12. So, ah, fond memories. Going through the car wash. This was much needed. Oh my goodness. We got up here and we had almost no gas. And my car is filthy. It is much, much needed. So I only spent $12 at Bartels. It was not very good. <laughs> but it was, it, you know, it was right next door to where I had to go anyway. So it was an added $12 of, of uh, merchandise. So Kohl's is six minutes away. And that's going to be our next destination because I've got some Kohl's cash and They've got some sales going on, so hopefully we have some good luck there. Oh, my car was so bad. <laughs> this was so First find in Kohl's, some little girls Adidas. I think I had this on our haul two weeks ago, maybe? 560. I just spent a few minutes getting fixed up here, so... I needed to connect to the free Wi-Fi. My phone was being stupid, so I reset reset my phone, closed down, you know, the 30 apps I run at any given time. And uh, what else did I do? I already had fixed up my buy list. I fixed my discounts, and I was looking for discount code for Kohl's, but there really isn't any going on right now. It's all about the Kohl's cash thing and I have $30 Kohl's cash so I've got all of my discounts and stuff lined up ready to go um, for the cash and then no percents off so in inventory lab make sure you're adjusting that for each store you go into if you are using this to calculate stuff so you can see here I've put in the buy cost of $5.60 I have a 10% tax rate in there and I have no discount codes in there right now because it's not really easy to put in Kohl's cash to figure out discounts you kind of got to do that after the fact um, so anyhow, without any discounts, I am uh, netting back $21 on these guys, so I am pretty happy. Let's see what else we can find. Second find in Kohl's. I got these Gloria Vanderbilts. The rank is really good. They are going to cost $10, and I will get back $16. So this is the brand you ought to be going after if you're just new to clothing and you're gated in everything that's, you know, like Nikes, Adidas, Columbia, etc., this is the brand you should be going after. This is one I could be on the fence about because if Amazon is selling sold out or not in stock, then I could go up to $18.99 at the $14.99 price, then being $4.60, I'm only getting back $1.64, which is not too much. But if you have deals to stack on, if you had a 20% off or... Um, you know, the Kohl's cash and you didn't find anything else, then this would, you know, your decision to buy or not buy this could go either way based on other factors going in. Right now, I'm going to pass on these, but it gave me a good idea that I am close to the Amazon drop-off area. I'm going to scope out stealthily ninja-like and see if there's any 25% off coupons laying near the trash can. Here's the next one that kind of on the fence about. I mean, I'm making less than $5, but the rank is really good. I do have the Kohl's cash going towards, I got $30 in Kohl's cash going towards my purchase here today, so that adds up a little bit. So this one, while I would normally be a little bit on the fence and maybe pass over because it is under $5, it's it's good. Today we're going to get it. Oh, ho, 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 I just saw $2.50 Nikes. Hold on. That... I might pick up even for eBay if it's not going to scan in. Hmm. All right. We're going to scan this on eBay. Let's see here. I could do it with you guys. Maybe. Maybe. If I know how to do it. Let's see if these guys pop up. 250. Okay. Yeah. They're there. They're there. Now we're going to filter condition. 
There's only five new. All right, but we want to see, so you want to see two things on eBay. You want to see how many is out there. Um, looks like five. And, and eBay's search is not like super 100%. Um, I've heard there's a lot of things not in its favor. Okay, so see how there was five people offering, but no people's buying. I am having a garage sale. Gosh, I really hate to pass up Nikes for 250 but we're going to have to pass and go back to Amazon. I'm. It's like the 70% off shoes I got the other day, which my daughter is keeping. She likes them. There's three, three of these Nike $2 items. All right, I'm going to keep going because the store is pretty crowded today, and I'll see what else we can find. Pretty much going to skip over baby because when I look at it, it's only 60% off. Hold the tag here. So this one is 60% off. It's 880 and using my one-third rough rule, that means that I would want to have this up for sale for about eight, sixteen, twenty-four dollars And I just don't see one little shirt going for that. The other thing, um, you know, this caught my eye because this is kind of a cool snowsuit, but it's got one of these coal things on it, so it was made for coals. And it, it may scan in, but again, it was, what, $25, $27? So, you know, I'd be looking for a $75 price tag on this online, and I just don't see that happening. So I'm not seeing any good deals in babies. If you were looking for personal, you know, some of the non-name brand ones like this jumping bean for a buck 60 would be amazing for you know if you needed it personally but for resale we're going to keep moving on i have scanned some of their frozen stuff not really found anything coming up or worth purchasing let's talk about cole's cares for a minute sometimes their stuffed animals are a good buy it just depends on the price the character the rank everything that normally goes into a decision right but this is where if you are trying to rack up Kohl's cash or discounts or hit a minimum, you know, it could work into your favor. So I have bought and sold several different Kohl's characters. They actually do sell pretty well. This one right here, you make 77% back, you're making two bucks. So maybe it's worth your time, maybe it's not. Now you do need to factor in the extra labor. And sometimes the product itself looks like it's been dragged around on the floor by a toddler for a couple aisles. So you wanna check over the product. There will be stickers to take off, bagging to do. So is that amount of labor worth the price and the profits? Up to you. I'm going to continue scanning some Kohl's Cares. I'm gonna get a couple Snoopies here and see if any other ones are good. The music is super loud here, but I have moved on to underwear. There wasn't a whole lot in ladies. I spent some time sniffing candles and then uh, I'm now in the underwear section. I rarely find anything in the candle section, but sometimes it's nice to have a candle to burn in the office. Anyhow, over here, these are jockeys. I love jockeys. Sometimes they go for really good, sometimes not so good. This is one that I am going to get, $9, I'll get back 10. Let's see here, I just scanned one that I was not, not happy with. Let's see here, this is $9 as well, but I believe the rank was two million? Yeah, two, almost two and a half million. So going to stay away from that. We'll scan just a couple here together, but you get the idea. I mean, I'm looking at the rank, the competition, everything going into it. So this one's $9 as well. And if you put in nine right there, you will see you get 62% back. So, you know, depending on how your business is set up, you may want to get that, you may not. I'm going to pass. It's not enough for me. Was this the same size? Might be the same thing we just saw. Nope. But similar. Again, not quite 100% um, ROI, so not going to get that one. Let's see here. These ones are not on sale. Somebody just put them back wrong. These ones, it looks like all of them are $9, so I'm going to spend a few minutes. Let's see if you can back up and see got a whole bunch to scan so hopefully I will get more than just one or two pairs. I did want to mention that I scanned gold toe socks down here and the Hanes. Hanes just doesn't do as well as Jockey. As I'm going through here I am organizing 
and organizing to keep track of what I've scanned and what I haven't scanned. And look at that. My cart is full of Snoopies and underwears. Such an eclectic shopping. It's no wonder people ask me what I'm doing when I go check out because they just can't make heads or tails of my basket. All right, I'm done with Jockey. These are all the ones I'm not getting on the top shelf. I've got at least 10 pair or more. Yeah, at least 10 pair in there at $10 profit a piece. Um, so over $100 worth of profit in just jockey underwear. So I love, 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 love jockey. Okay, so that's the good. Let's scan through. I want to show you why I say no, you know, my no's. Just a few of them here. And I'm, I don't remember where I put what for what reason. So we'll just have to go through them. Two and a half million. You know, obviously not going to get that. It's too high of rank. These are 11.25, no item found. These guys say it's a pack of three, same with over here, pack of three, and there's only two in there. So, you know, you don't wanna, <laughs> you don't wanna be anywhere near that. This one does not have a UPC code on it. And then there's some like this one that are not on sale. If they don't have the Kohl's for sale sticker on them, then, you know, somebody just dumped them over here on, you know, to get rid of them out of their cart, not because they're mismarked. And I've, I've gone and done the little price scanner, ask for the price, and I tell you, 100% of the time it was, oh, somebody put that in the wrong spot, so I've stopped asking. These are 12 million, um, you know, on any of these, you could go and look at the keep a graph and see is it, you know, what are the reasons behind that or whatnot. What I see and what I just, I'm trying to go quick through here because I've got a lot of stores to hit up. I'm looking out, there's one seller and it's 12 million in fashion. So there's also a new one at $75. So I don't know if that's somebody that's just dumped in and their repricer hasn't repriced down to be competitive or if it was a case pack or a different pack size and you know now somebody's selling a single pack and maybe something's changed but all in all I'm um, just gonna walk away from that one now time for bras I did not find any single bras I only scanned ones that were under ten dollars and there was hardly anything there so then I came over just browsed through sheets there was a couple of lion king and frozen sheets but nothing nothing priced really good came over here there is a couple of items i'm going to scan this thing what is this an avocado i'll scan this one but i doubt it's going to be any good i highly doubt it i scanned the fabware fabware i like this one and whatever the heck this is a colander collapsible colander and these guys down here have been on clearance at a lot of the different Kohl's, and it's not a brand that really is selling well. However, I do feel like my kitchen needs one of those giant spatulas for pancakes and stuff. Um, over here on the, this is not on clearance, so they're getting in the barbecue stuff, getting out with the winter stuff. If you needed cookie cutters or sheets, they had some pretty good clearance items going on over there, but again, not for real sale, just for personal. Let me scan the avocado thing. All done with colds and I am starving now. So I'm gonna go walk across to the grocery store, which is Fred Meyers here, and I will scope out their clearance and get something good to eat. Um, this store charged for bags and I have a bunch of bags in the car. So I just loaded up my cart and instead of paying for more bags, I put them in my Marshall's bags, which are nice and big. I also like to tie the tops up here. Just helps things keep from falling over during transit. And then uh, let's do a bra price breakdown here. 123.77. Hope you guys can see this. 27 items. I was able to get a 15% off coupon just being nice. I walked up and I said, oh, I was going to return my Amazon thing here and get a coupon and I forgot it. And she goes, oh, let me give you one of these. I was just chatting it up with the cash cash cashier. And so she gave, gave me one of these 15% off, which was super nice that I can go in and enter into my buy list later when I upload. I then used gift cards here. And I had $30 of Kohl's cash. The 15% off saved me $17. So, hey, saved a total of $500, which is nice. And then the gift card saved me an additional 3%. And I use raise.com digital download. Um, 
I know I've talked about that, but it's an app, just raise.com, and I use it mostly for Kohl's and Burlington. No more TJ Maxx and Marshalls on there. They have stopped doing gift cards, but it's still good for others. I save anywhere from two and a half to upwards of, sometimes you can get up to eight to 15%, but uh, three or three to six is kind of the common. All right, time to go eat and see if Fred Myers has anything. For those thinking that eating on the road is always going to equate to fast food, try your local store out. This is my favorite, favorite salad. It's called Superfood Salad. It's at Fred Meyer, but Safeway makes one. Um, and Fred Meyer and Safeway are pretty much across the country, I think. Anyhow, $3.63 for half a pound. It's a kale salad. It's very delicious. Sometimes I get it with a couple of chicken fingers, but the fryer is down today, so no chicken fingers for me. I am now in TJ Maxx. There was not a Marshalls really close by or a Burlington, so TJ Maxx is one store that I have some returns. I grabbed my reusable bags. I did not find anything in Fred Meyers to sell, but I did start the app called Fetch Rewards where you scan your grocery card receipt and you can earn some gift cards to places like, I don't know, AMC Theaters or Amazon or whatnot. Anyhow. Uh, scanned my receipt trying to do that. I just started that last week, so we'll see how it goes. I didn't care for Ibotta, but this one seems doable for me. Now I have gone through the beauty department and the purses. I wound up with one face cleaning thing and a couple of replenishable makeup guys, and now I am scanning Sharper Image knives. So this one has got quite a few on the shelf, um, but this is what I'm looking for. Even though it's 254000 in kitchen, uh, you got to look at the actual category. Some categories have a lot, lot more than other categories. So you want to be, um, you want to know that going in and also be familiar with the brand, the competition. I did already go look at the Keepa graphs and I'm happy with this one. So I'm going to load up my cart with this guy. KitchenAid towels are one of the few towels that I will actually pull back the label if needed and scan. Um, this one caught my eye. It just had a really pretty color to it. Nice and springy, but the metrics are all wrong here. First up, it's $28 for two, which is a little on the high side. I could lower the price. The rank is terrible and it's in home and garden. So on home and garden, I want to have a little bit better of a rank. It's not a huge category. And then I don't really care for the picture. If you look at the picture, it looks like just somebody photographed it on their kitchen table or something. Um, so for many a reasons, we're gonna pass on this one, but I have had luck with KitchenAid towels. Now I can sell Crocs, but I'm not going to get these. These are $14.99 here. They're very shiny. I gotta show you this in a minute, but uh, the Amazon is on it and shoes tend to have a lot of variations to them, so just going to pass on them, but look at, look at these guys. Look at that shine. These are shiny Crocs for that special occasion. I've gone quite a bit of the store. Most of it the housewares that I don't do a lot of scanning in, but quite a, quite a few steps here without putting anything into the cart. Finally found something that is okay. Not super thrilled about it, but it's money. It's, uh, you know, it's profits. It'll be good. It'll, it'll sell. <laughs> Trying to find something else to be kind of excited about here in the store. I'm into men's underwears. And let's see here. See if I can find anything worth scanning here in the men's underwear. Let's see if you guys can take a look. You know, I've looked at Lacoste and not really found anything in the underwear section worth reselling because they want $20. Yeah, see, they're going 40 bucks. It's not, I mean, it's not bad, but you're competing against Amazon. Let's see here. You would make $11, 54% return. And some people are fine with that, but being how it's competing with Amazon, You'll, you'll get the buy box. It may take a while. It may take a longer time to sit there. I just, it's not, not really exciting. Let's see here. Hanes, these are $10. That's a little bit better. But they're probably going for $16.99 or something on Amazon. Let's see here. $16.98. Oh my God, I was off by a penny. 
Did I call it or what? And I did not scan this beforehand at all. <sighs> Let's see here. Let's look at Tommy. Maybe Tommy's better. $17.99. I'm about to get company, I think, on the aisle. Maybe, maybe not. No items found. Okay, well, let's try Calvin Klein. Maybe Calvin. Oop, wrong tag. You scan the wrong tag, nothing's gonna come up. There we go. These are $20 as well. Yeah, nothing coming up. Sometimes I find spider. Let's see if we can find any spiders. That's probably my favorite underwear to sell. Reebok. You know what? I haven't scanned Reebok in a while. Let's try that. $12.99 for four. Nothing. Yeah. Not having much luck there. What's that brand down there? Puma. Okay. $9.99 for some Puma three pack. Ugh, you'd make three bucks. So while, you know, we found two things that are profitable not quite the margins I want. Been trying to find some stance socks, but uh, looks like as soon as I say it's a great buy, they stop carrying them. I was really excited about stance socks. Ooh, clearance section. Tagless boxers. I don't know what the original was down to. Uh, MSRP is 30, and they're down to 10. I'll give it a try, they're not opened or anything. And I'd make $2. Oh boy. Let's see here. Here's some Tommies. Gold. Fancy Tommies. Go with your gold. Nah, it wasn't gold, but pink shimmery Crocs over there. All right, moving on. Beverly Hills. This one I, I've not ever had come up as anything good. We can try $6 for three V-neck shirts. Nope. All right, well, we're gonna, ooh, hold on. Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines is a great brand, $3. Ooh. Mm. If I were doing eBay more often, I might might wanna do that. Now these I wouldn't get because of, oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna have to scan somewhere else. Let's see here, let's do this, hello. I wouldn't get it because the package is broken up, but Under Armour, yeah, that's probably one of my other favorites. That and Spider in the underwear department. See, $6. So if the package wasn't messed up, or well, I can't sell it new, but that would have been something. All right, I'm going to keep plugging along. I've gotten the one pair of pants, a bunch of knives, not much. These I can get a little bit more excited about. Spend 18, get back 21, no competition, and 22,000 in rank. So. Now I've got two pairs of pants in the cart. I spent two ten at TJ Maxx, mostly knives, a couple pairs of pants, and I think three workout bras, all Under Armour. So don't have a whole lot of time. Michael's is right next door. I thought we'd come in here and take a look at things and 90% off. I will be scanning Wilton stuff. Probably not emboss, I'll well, probably do the embossing things and see if we can find anything here. This is their other clearance area. Absolutely nothing came up good enough to buy for any reason. It was, it was terrible. I did scan pretty much anything related wedding wise that had a name brand, Martha Stewart, Wilton, Happy Planner, Crayola, and just nothing, nothing going on. They have a Black History Month area where you can go and get stuff for your boards. I'm gonna assume this is mainly for teachers. It looks like teacher boards type of things. So that's interesting. I scanned, nothing came up. Frozen, Frozen, Frozen is on 60% clearance, which is great. Almost, there was hardly anything that came up though. One of the things that did come up is this book. However, Amazon is on it. And with books, I, I don't sell new books without, I just don't wanna go up against Amazon on new books on a category that has been known to have troubles and Frozen has had all sorts of drama to it. So I'm gonna pass on that even if, and I don't know what the margins are. It's 60% off, but there's no price here. 
it is almost five o'clock now and it is time to go and finish up this day head home and get some dinner at michael's i found two frozen two products that were good sellers and i was ungated for etc wound up spending a hundred dollars at michael's so that was unexpected and good had just a little bit of time to kill went over to target kind of refreshed my my drink at starbucks my ice water um and ran around the store really quick seeing if there was anything on the clearance aisles there was nothing uh you know Sometimes Target has stuff on clearance for 5 to 20% and those just aren't really worth scanning at all. So it's time to go. I have to stop at my storage unit. I've had four eBay sales today. I can go tomorrow morning too, maybe. Um, so four eBay sales, one or two Macari sales, and over $700 in Amazon sales for the day. So sales are good. Shopping was good. I've got four or five bags in the back and then one more from Michael. So I've got several bags. I wound up finding some stuff yesterday at Big Lots too. So that was good. That was a good score and it's replenishable type of item. So it's always nice when you can find replenishables that are close to your house. Um, and then I have one whole, two wholesale orders coming in this week. So that will be good. And then I'm getting ready for ASD. They have started to send me brochures and, and, um, paperwork and emails and things like that. What else is going on this week? I sat through a tax seminar the other day. It was okay. Um, learned more about sales tax and what I need to do, etc. And learned more about the company. And I kind of want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation to answer some very specific tax questions. So that's not really fun stuff. Shopping was much more fun. Tomorrow I'm going out shopping too, so I hope to take you guys with me. I'm hoping the people in Target don't hit my car. That was really close, that one. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's been fabulous here. It's a nice, the, the spring is starting to come, and I really love spring. So I'm excited for just the new, new beginnings of the year. All right, guys, take care and have an awesome weekend.